today I am going to be talking about my top 10 favourite Disney shows on Disney+. Plus. My first favourite show is High School Musical, the musical series. I know a lot of people either love or hate this show, it's kind of like Marmite, but I do really like it. It is quite cheesy, but I do like how modern it is and how the storyline goes. I can see why people don't like it because there are some points where the characters will it will like cut away to them talking to the camera like the whole thing's an audition which is a bit weird sometimes but yeah it's really good I recommend it I just wish it they released the whole thing so I could watch it all in one go rather than having to wait. My second favourite is Inside Out. I know it isn't a new movie as such it only came out a few years ago but honestly i cried like i'd never seen it before because when it came out i'm never really good at going to the cinema when shows come out so this is a perfect opportunity to watch all the shows that i wanted to watch and yeah i'm an emotional film watcher anyway but this i'm so glad i watched it by myself <laughs> um I cried so much and I think it's such a good film that teaches kids about their emotions like what's going inside what's going on inside their heads and I just wanted Pixar to make one about me like I want to know what's going on in my my head <laughs> my third favorite is Lady in the Tramp but the real life version so it was a bit weird at first because they're actual dogs who are talking um but they made it that good that even my dog was watching it <laughs> my dog is the same breed as lady and lady and the tramp um and it was just really weird i think he knew it was so weird but yeah that was so good they did the storyline really well and i cried at that too <laughs> i might as well just put i cried at the mall i haven't cried at high school musical yet musical the series. <laughs> the next one is Stargirl. This is a Disney Plus original. I thought it was a really good story. I liked... Oh, I was going to give it away then. Um, I just like the message behind it. Like, you don't need to blend in. You can be different and don't try and go with the crowd. Just be you, basically. I knew I saw the girl before. She was Grace Vanderwall. She went on Britain's Got Talent like when she was a young girl and then when she came on and started playing on her ukulele I was like I recognise her and it was her so it was good. I recommend it if you have like an hour and a bit time like we all might do now um, I recommend it. Next one I literally just watched was Aladdin the live action version of it. I didn't know how I was gonna like it and plus I couldn't really remember the storyline to Aladdin because I haven't seen it in ages but I actually really liked it like I came away from that film thinking that was a really good way to spend my time because it was such a good film and the genie Will Smith some of his lines were really funny. Next one is The Imagineering Story. This is a documentary series on Disney Plus about the parks and like how Walt um imagined it all and made it all i did cry <laughs> um it was just so sad because it went on to his death on the on the first um episode and it was just so sad because obviously he started this all and now it's come this far it's just crazy the next show is frozen like every show of Frozen you can ever see. Frozen 2 is coming to Disney Plus which is good. I'll probably cry at that again. <laughs> um, but yeah I just think Frozen's a really good thing to just pop on in the background if you need something to have on while you're doing work or something even though sometimes I spend half the time looking at the TV than doing my work <laughs> but never mind. Um, so yeah that's number seven. Number eight is Black Panther. I recently just watched this. I'm not really a Marvel girl, like, <laughs> as you can tell, most things I talk about, and in my Disney vlogs, I talk about Disney or Pixar. 
um, but not Marvel. And the only other Marvel film I'd ever watched was Spider-Man. But I'd heard good things about Black Panther from Brogan Tate. If you don't watch her, I recommend you do. Um, and yeah, Black Panther was really good. It did take me a while to um, get the storyline. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but after a while, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Number nine is Disney Fairy Tale Weddings. Now, I haven't watched all of it. I've only watched like a little bit of it. And this again, I don't think I would watch it like with my full attention. I just popped it on in the background because I heard it was good from Brogan Tate again. Um, but how she described it as that she would sit down with her boyfriend and fully watch it. But I don't, well, one, I don't have a boyfriend sometimes. <laughs> Um, and I don't think it's something I would like fully invest my time into. I watched it while I was doing other things, so yeah. That's why it's at number nine. And number 10 was One Day at Disney. This was a documentary. Um, it also came in series as well, but I just thought it was a bit too long and um, I thought it was gonna be something different than what it was. I thought it was going to be looking at different cast members and seeing how their job roles are, but it wasn't. It was more based on one person. So yeah, that's why it's my least favorite. I hope that was in some way entertaining. I don't even know. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And can I just say, I'm very sorry that I haven't uploaded in ages. I was going to make this YouTube channel into a vlogging channel because I thought so many people like my vlogs. However, with this whole world issue going on right now, um, everything that I was going to vlog has been postponed or cancelled <laughs> so that really threw a spanner in the works for what I was going to do with this channel so this is why I thought I'd film this video about Disney um because I really like Disney and yeah I'm very sorry again hopefully some more videos will be coming your way but I just need to figure out what to do so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon bye when there's a hole between for you in the dark You should know you're beautiful